push button A, he alternates between kind of a mean, sad, and plain face. If I push A and B together, the trunk swings. And then you can see, get well soon. Project Cam Talk. This is how it starts with B. B. This is how it starts. Yeah. But A. It stops. And then when you press both, it will play music. Can you do? Plus the song Taco Tuesday. Yeah. Duck song from the duck song. Okay. Here's the, the, the lemonade stand. Alright, show us what it does. And A, press it says, got any grapes? I have grapes! And then on button B press, it shows happy birthday song. And then on button A, B press, it shows a ducky. So we're going to be making these interactive cards today and I know it's going to be hard to do since we're not actually at school when you might not have the same supplies at your house that I have at mine. But here's what I want you to do for your first step. Sketch out a plan for your card. You can use any holiday that you want. I've had students use Halloween, Christmas, get well cards, birthday cards, 4th of July, Valentine's Day, you get the idea. It doesn't have to be a holiday though, you could also make a card for something you like, such as Taco Tuesday, your favorite soccer team, Chiefs winning the Super Bowl, I've had a lot of cards made for that, um, a Peppa Pig card if you wanted to do that, it really doesn't matter, you're just making an interactive greeting card of whatever you want or whatever you like. Um, so the first thing you're doing, or the first part that you're starting today is to draw out a plan. So you could do it on paper, I decided to make a Let's Play Ball um, baseball card so I just got a piece of paper and sketched out what I want it to look like it's gonna say let's play ball make sure you show where your micro bit would go if you were gonna put one in I put mine in the middle of a scoreboard show what else you're gonna add to your card so I'm gonna add a flashing light that I'm gonna put right up here I'm gonna add a speaker that I'm putting in the scoreboard and underneath this baseball I'm going to have a servo so my baseball is going to spin. If you don't have paper and markers you could do this on an app on your iPad. Um, I think paper is a good one to use. Um, I'm not sure what other ones you have on your iPad but there's lots of drawing things. Um, pick collage might be a good place that you could you know, find a picture of a micro bit and slide it in there. Um, so hopefully you can have fun with this, either drawing out what your card's going to look like or um, designing it using one of your apps. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. the second part of your project, I want you to plan out what your card will do when you press buttons. So for example, on mine, when I press button A, it's going to play the song Take Me Out to the Ball Game. When I press button B, it's going to spin a servo with a baseball on it. Um, when I tilt the card left, it's going to flash a light. And on start, it's just going to say, let's go Royals. Four different things. It could be scrolling words, flashing lights, spinning a servo, playing a song showing icons. It's pretty much up to you, but try to have it do four things. Probably on start, button A pressed, button B pressed, on tilt, A plus B. I don't recommend you doing anything on shake, although I suppose you could if you want to. Um, and I'd like you to use at least one input, so that means a speaker, a light, or a servo. If you don't remember how to do those codes, go back and look at some of our past assignments and I'm sure you'll figure it out.
So for the third part of your project, you're just gonna be writing the code that matches what you planned out. So I'm gonna to go to the Make Code website, and for my card, I would need an on start button where I'm gonna put the show string um, Let's Go Royals. I would need an on button A pressed where I'm gonna to have to write the code for the song. I'm gonna need on button B pressed, and then I'm gonna to have to put in these code blocks, the servo write pin, so that my servo would spin, and then um, from input, I'm going to find on tilt left, then I'm going to write the code using digital right pin so that my light inside my fireworks turns off and on. So then I'm going to save this, probably I'm going to call it like Bradley's baseball card or greeting card or birthday card or whatever. I'm going to save that and then remember how to share it, publish it, and submit the link. So everybody's is gonna look different. Hopefully you have four different things though that your card will do. And hopefully you're using the code for either a song, it doesn't have to be a song that you wrote, it can be one of the pre-programmed songs. Um, so you're e either using something with a speaker or a light or a servo, or all three if you want, or two of them. So just have fun with it, and I'm sorry we can't make a card in real life, but maybe we'll figure something out at summer school or something like that. All right, have a great day. All right, so here's what my final interactive card project looks like. And I had to plug it in with a USB cable um, because when I left school at spring break, I wasn't aware that we weren't gonna be going back this quarter. And so I left all of my battery packs at school and have not been able to go get any. So USB cable it is. All right, so let me show you what my card does on start. Let me reset it. So on start, it says, let's go Royals. On button A pressed, it plays Take Me Out to the Ballpark. All right, on button B pressed, my baseball spins for three seconds. And on tilt left, like if you're opening the card, it says home run. And then my light flashes inside my um, fireworks. All right, so there you go, my interactive baseball card.